have just finished my shift for COVID-19 testing. <laughs> A day in the life of a biomedical research scientist. At this point I'm almost fully dressed and it's about time to get some caffeine in me. Two pads of strong coffee. I mm, think I should cut down a little bit, but I'm working on it. Some healthy food of course. I don't always eat healthy, but I try as much as I can. I'm only human of course, you know? Okay, time to check what's on the emails and notifications. By this time it's already half an hour later. And the shift for COVID-19 today is still on, that's good. Then about to check some notifications on the channel. Almost ready to leave for work, not quite yet, brushing the teeth and fixing the hair. Go! Oh, by the way, this is where the magic happens. Welcome to the studio from the other side. And look at these little adorable plushies. So guys, about time to get off to work now. Um, I'm taking the train, first have to bike all the way. And today we're going to help out on the COVID-19 tests. I volunteered for this, this will be in the morning. Then in the afternoon we'll go over some tissue slides on the microscope to look at some liver tissue, how it's infiltrated with immune cells perhaps, some colon tissue as well, so gut liver axis. And yeah, that will be the outline of the day. Follow me. Time to get on the iron steam. Time to put on a mask. Well, without glasses, I don't get that vapor all over my actual glasses. So the mask I'm wearing is actually a disposable one. You can only use it for X amount of times. That's why I also have other masks that my uh, neighbors actually made for me and my girlfriend where for which i thank them very much of course so the situation in belgium right now is that you can actually go to work but with protective measures and only if it's really necessary so if you can work from home you should and by looking at the occupation of this train uh, compartment I guess a lot of people do work from home or can work from home. Me too, of course, but I did it for the last two months. Did writing, looking up literature and other stuff. I have to do experiments too, you know. The rest of the samples are waiting in the freezer. I have to get them analyzed at some point because I need to publish some data. So now off to search my bike. It's not that long that I have a bike again here. I did uh, many kilometers on foot because my bike got stolen. This is actually becoming a pretty good day. Nice and sunny. If you'd like to know how long and how many kilometers or miles my commute actually is, you can check that out in another video that I've made.
fact there's this small bit right here I have to go through a park because it was a dead end street and the gate is closed so I have to go through this little piece of lush greenery to get to the site so I'm a little bit early but it doesn't bother because there's plenty of sun even in the morning now and in half an hour somewhere down there the door down there there will be some preparations of samples for corona testing for COVID-19 so I won't be able to film anything inside of course but the actual work we do there as volunteers I'll explain through some sort of schematic. We get nasal swaps from all over, retirement homes or family doctors or hospitals, and 94 patients can go on one plate. This needs barcoding, of course, in order to register these. In the meanwhile, we can prepare a lysis plate by adding 200 microliters per well of lysis buffer in these plates. Once they're registered, we need to vortex these nasal swaps in order to get those cells loose. And then we take out 750 microliters into a storage plate for each of the samples. We also need negative controls and this will be deionized water. And we do this two times before we transfer 200 microliters of the whole storage plate to the lysis plate. This is the final plate layout then with two negative controls for qPCR test. And then of course the storage plate is secured as backup. I've just finished my shift for COVID-19 testing. So yeah, two plates of 96 wells, so that's 192 patients that can be diagnosed with COVID-19. Hopefully not for them. And now, uh, Get something to eat, already go to the lab, and then some microscopy in the afternoon. So now we're in between campuses, campus where I did the testing right now, COVID-19, and that's the university hospital. these tiny little things called tissue slides. There's actually a tremendous amount of work before reaching this point. And then this is what you get out of it when you look under the microscope. So the whole thing is called histology or histopathology because you're trying to delineate illness from looking at how tissues are stained with infiltration of immune cells, etc., etc. And if you're an MLT or a biomedical scientist looking to work in a medical lab and taking the specialization of pathology, then basically this will be what your job is like, making those slides and evaluating them to make sure that patients are correctly diagnosed. Highly relevant, links in the description below if you want to know more about this whole process. Okay, time to finish the day and head back home. I'm just eating some nuts some small power food now to quench that little hunger i have right before i get home oh and um some more food of course mm-hmm mm -hmm. so that's it for today off to home so guys back on the train going home now you had a glimpse of my work day but that's Dutch by the way so what I was saying was that you saw a glimpse of my work day and I want to highlight and stress that not every day is the same but some days will look more like this the other days before I think in any job back in my industry job as well there's a certain amount of repetition certain amount of drag a certain amount of iteration that you just can't escape a certain amount of routine that will always be there no matter what you do so i think it's important when you graduate get out of school do your first job or anything if it's not for you then it's not for you okay but try to think more long term perhaps some other job functions will open up if you are routinely trained in something else and always remember that you should actively ask what you want people will not just throw things at you or throw positions at you or make sure you 
if you want something that you should work for it display it don't kiss ass or anything that's not what I mean but if you want something go get something you cannot imagine what little you know when you just graduate and how the world will open up for you once you start your career and you will find your way you will like this or that or don't like this or that and yeah you'll never know where you end up you drive your career you can go sideways you can go upwards you can even take a step back if you want if you want to get out of the lab well then work for it if you want to stay in the lab and do routine function jobs and work nine to five that's okay but just try to figure out what you specifically want that's the most important thing oh and try to keep a balance with it all don't go insane stay healthy also eat good food party listen to music hang out with friends don't always take life too seriously you know by the way I'm sitting in a private empty compartment where it creates a lot of background noise because there's no door here but at the same time no one can hear me also guys if you have any questions let me know in the comments if you have any remarks I'll try to answer as good as possible maybe collect them and do a Q&A some, sometime very soon I hope I can bring some value to you guys get you in the right direction with what you want to study where you want to end up in get the picture more clear in your head about the careers that you can go after I hope to motivate you that if there's not too many barriers perhaps you can you know does this make any sense if not then also let me know in the comments below Radio, time for some R&R &R. and some physical exercise but first get this food bolus to go down and a late time easter egg chocolate So guys, that's it for this day in the life of a biomedical research scientist. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, share the channel with anyone you think might benefit from it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.